Hey guys, welcome to the show today. We're checking out the iPhone 17 Pro Edition. Now, for me, gotta say it looks um, cheaper than the previous iPhones purely because of this color. It isn't the reflective, beautiful silver color. It's the more cheap spray can silver effect color. But we don't care about that. We care about performance. Now, according to the marketing material, the iPhone 17 Pro is 40% sustained performance faster than the iPhone 16 Pro. And it's also, interestingly, only 20% faster than the 15 Pro. Who is telling the truth? Is it Apple or Apple? Who's telling the truth? We're gonna find out because we're gonna be doing some AI model inferencing. I've got Inferencer, the app running on these phones. We're gonna be checking out the tokens per second against the 16 Pro, the 17 Pro, the, the iPad M4 and an older, the 15 uh, iPhone 15 processor, A16 I iPad over here. We're gonna be testing out inferencing on Inferencer app. Yes, I got it ported running on the phone here. It's gonna be released very, very soon. You can do all the token probabilities and reselection, all that kind of stuff. It's all up and running. And I've also got diagnosis pattern, more medical application using large language models and transcription services to see how they perform. And in case you don't watch the video, it's around 30% faster than the 16 Pro. But let's go ahead and see how it actually performs when we do energy saver and different models. How does it tune in? Let's find out. We got Llama, the 1 billion parameter model to start off the show and we have power saving mode turned off. We're gonna turn it on very soon to see how it performs then. But for now it's turned off. I hate that swiping thing. I always try swiping up and I end up on the screen. I need to swipe up again. Very, very annoying. Anyway, iOS for you, it's gonna get worse. So this is iPhone 16 Pro versus the 17 Pro. Three, two, one, boom. Up on the screen, loading the model into memory and straight away the iPhone 17 Pro has bam, won that show. It is writing away on both. And boom, 89 tokens a second versus 67. So we got around a 30% performance improvement. And that is actually really good if you check out the marketing material of the website, because that only says it's only 20% CPU faster. Of course, the video says it's 40%. So anyway, we've got that situation here. Now I'm gonna chuck in, we've got the M4 iPad. So we've got the M4 iPad here and also the A16 iPad. And this is equivalent to an iPhone 15. Three, two, one, let's go, boom. Both are running at the same time. M4 iPad is smashing it and the uh, 15 is a little bit slow, but it is again doing and producing the content. So let's scroll to the bottom. We got 130 tokens per second on the M4 iPad. So that is destroyer of the worlds. And on the 15, we got 60. So 60 is only, the 16 Pro is only slightly faster than the 15, but the 17 Pro, as you can see, it's a massive 30% jump. And the M4, that one is ludicrously fast. So what did we learn from this? We learned that expecting, hopefully the M5 Max will be 30% at least faster than the M4 Max, according to this. But this was just one basic model, so one billion parameter model, very, very nice small language model to play with. Let's pump it up and let's see how it performs when we go bigger. So next up, I'm gonna switch over to Quen. This is a thinking Quen 4B. And we're gonna go in order. So the 15, boom, 16, 17, and M4, and they're all going at the same time. As you see, whoa, that was pretty fast. The 17 Pro was actually fastest to load. So it loaded the model from the disc and went straight to menu. This is a thinking model. So the, the M4 is catching up. The 15 is up and running, and I forgot to actually run it on the 16, so we'll just run it right now, and hopefully it will catch up very soon. So we've got tokens per second. We've got th around 28 tokens per second on the 17 Pro, and we've got on the iPad, it's still churning away. What is it doing? We got 40 tokens a second on the iPad M4. So from fastest to slowest, we got here, this is the M4 iPad, and we got 40 tokens a second. This is the thinking model. It's a four billion parameter model, a very, very heavy duty one. This one's 28 tokens a second on the 17 Pro. On the 16 Pro, it's get chugging up. It's still going. It gets chuggy when it's running low on memory, but now it's finished, it's 20 tokens a second. So we went from 20 to 27 tokens a second. I actually ran this test one more time because I noticed that the 17 Pro produced less tokens. So hopefully this time around it will be more even. So we got 187 tokens here and 200 tokens there. And yes, it is still faster when the tokens 
are even massive improvement there and on the 15 pro it's managed to do it but it's obviously the slowest one and that's got 15 tokens a second so we've got five extra tokens from 15 to 16 and from 16 to 17 we've got seven extra tokens or almost eight extra tokens and the m4 that's just the, the killer one over here so you see now we're running four billion parameter models it's running very very close to fast i gotta say 28 tokens a second is very very usable depends on the kind of applications you're doing if you want to do large summaries, maybe it's a bit too slow for that. But for, for using it, 30 seconds a second is amazing. Anything for me, anything over 10 is readable, especially because I like really, really heavy duty models as well. But one of the limitations of iOS is that it doesn't actually let you use that much memory. So if I, you try using the 8 billion parameter models, it's going to say you're not allowed to store that much memory. It's just a restriction on the operating system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chuck in a Samsung S25 and do a comparison to see if Samsung is actually any fast with the Snapdragon Elite processor. Now, uh, long story short, no, this Samsung is slower. I don't know why Samsung is slower. It's just a shame that it is. But of course, with inferencing improvements, different engines, all that kind of stuff, maybe we're gonna get it going faster. One of the great things about Android is though, it actually allows you to use the memory. So you can actually load larger models on Android in my experience than you can on iOS even though it runs a lot faster on iOS. But let's do a nice comparison here. So I'm going to be using an application called Diagnosis Pad. Now this guy can only really run on these devices here on the 15, the A16 Bionic processor. There's not enough memory to do what we're going to be doing with this application. We're doing both text to speech or speech to text. And we're also going to be doing LLMs and all that kind of good stuff here. Just a quick comparison between the 16 and 17 Pro to start off with. This is already a, a sequenced session so we're just going to reprocess it at the same time and we can see they're both processing here and what it's doing at the moment is it's going through the transcript of the session that we've had and it's coming up with some differentials and it's also coming up with some recommendations to improve the differentials and it's also coming up with notes and as you can see the 17 pro is faster 16 is still chugging away so if you're actually using this in clinic you're going to have a better time generating these notes and all of this stuff is generated offline and you can even for example ask a bit more about these guys asthma exhibition and as you can see 17 is slightly faster than the 16 so if you are interested in finding that bit more information about the potential potential differential you're going to get an uplift on the 17 pro but let's just see how it compares to the samsung over here and we're going to start a new session hello i'm recording a youtube video and apparently it's making me have a massive headache what could it be Interestingly, they both have transcribed some speech straight away at the same time. 17 Pro, boom, came up with some differentials straight away. And it's also got some recommendations. This guy, the Android, is slow behind on differentials producing it. Still needs to come up with differentials, but it's transcribing away at the moment. And this is all done live as we are talking. I also have uh, um, a uh, uh, hand ache as well, maybe too much typing on the keyboard. So we hit pause right now just to let it stop and come up with some notes. So it's gonna go ahead and process the transcription, the differentials, the recommendations, and it's gonna come up with some clinical notes. So it will save you having to upload all that stuff to the unprivate clouds or that private medical information you're running online. And look, it's done it straight away on the 17 Pro, very, very fast. On the Android, it's still figuring out the differentials come with some recommendations here and it's still generating notes so it's a lot more chuggier so as you can see the android is still chugging away trying to figure out what life is all about whereas the 17 pro it's a very very usably fast now the phone i'm holding it in my hand it's getting warm the battery life looks good but it's a bit warm to hold now It'll probably be a lot warmer even if i had a case so maybe doing intensive inferencing on a phone Especially with the larger models maybe that isn't so practical but the fact that you can do it and the fact that it runs really really fast is really really good so one more test i'm going to do is i'm going to put power saving mode i'm going to jump back into inferencer and we're going to see if it's actually faster when you actually need to run at a normal speed that won't overheat the processor inferencer, inferencer, inferencer. i'm going to switch it back to the 1b model that tapping is pretty cool okay so what we need to do now is turn on power saving mode power saving mode. We're going to do the 16 and 17 first and the 15 and M4 straight afterwards. We'll see 17, boom, rammed it out of the way, straight out of the park. The 16 is slightly slower. The M4 has done, the 15 is done. 
So surprisingly, in a weird twist of events, we've actually got the 15, the, the, the X16. I can't, you see there, it's got 42 tokens a second. So this one actually won. Don't know how, without saving mode, this one won. The 16 Pro got 31 tokens a second. The one you tuned in for, the 17 Pro, that one got 29 tokens a second. So that's actually slower than the 16 Pro in energy saver mode. Maybe it went too hard originally and now it needs to slow down. And the M4 got 37 tokens a second. Now, I, in, in a real test environment, you would repeat this test, but I don't want to repeat this test because look, 42 tokens a second on the slowest device and they all have the same model running. So that is amazing. All right, so I don't think anyone expected that. I'm actually surprised. Maybe it's because these phones are talking to each other. There's always ones to connect. But the, the slowest one, the A16 Bionic, the cheapest iPad available to purchase, one, got 42 tokens a second. I don't know how. Do you know how? Need to figure it out. But on energy saver mode, yeah, the old one was the best one, surprisingly. But other than that, out of the 16 and the 17, the 17, again, was actually it was slower in this test. In the low power mode, the 17 got 29 tokens a second and the 16 Pro got 31 tokens a second. So I don't know what's going on, but when power saving mode is turned off, you, that's where you get the performance. With power saving on, you're not going to get any performance benefit whatsoever. So that's something to be aware of. If you want to save your battery life, if you're an LNM slow kind of person, maybe the 17 isn't for you. But generally, 30% when it's on max power, draining the battery, doing some overheating, that is what is happening. So what do you guys think of the inferencing power of the 17 Pro? Is it a pro phone that you want to get? I do like the direction that things are going, making things faster. Obviously in low power savings, it wasn't faster, it was slower, but generally it has, it's probably needs tuning with the latest iOS updates, all that kind of stuff. That's actually something to be aware of. These guys, the iPads, they're not on the latest iPad 26 OS, whereas the iPhones, they are on the latest 26 OS. So maybe something operating system wise, maybe they're a bit more aggressive in the new updates. Something to be aware of. Let me know what you guys think and stay tuned for Inferencer coming out on iOS very, very soon. It's out on Mac OS, got some nice features. We've got even token entropy now. So you click a button and it tells you all of the tokens straight away. Visually, you can see the ones that it is low confidence in. So you can know exactly what's going on. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.